Hey guys, welcome to primandprep.com. Today we're going to be talking about how to hold a safety razor. And as I was looking online, I've seen a lot of people hold their safety razors completely different. I'm going to show you the way I hold it, and it seems like it's the most common way to hold it. It's called the point of balance uh, method. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up your safety razor. With me I have my Edwin Jagger DE89 LBL. And what you're going to do is you're going to just try to find the point of balance so you can balance it on one finger. And the point of balance for me is right under the Edwin Jagger logo. So I'm just balancing on my index finger right now. And typically how I hold it to shave with the grain is I'm going to have two fingers. So my index finger is on the point of balance and then I'm going to have my middle finger right below. Um, my thumb is just pretty much in between both of them. And that's how I do with the with the grain. So I'll be shaving just like that. It's obviously hard to, uh, to show you because my face can't be in the same in the frame at the same time. But just nice nice downward strokes. I try to just let it sit in my hand, sit on that point of balance. I'm not gripping it too hard. I'm just kind of letting it sit there and have my thumb there so it doesn't slip out while I'm shaving. Um, so that's how I do with the grain. My Pointer finger is on the point of balance. I have a, the lower part of the handle resting on my middle finger, and then I have my thumb kind of in between, not really gripping it hard, just letting it sit there because you want to let the weight of the razor do most of the work. So you don't want to be gripping it and then and then running it across your face really hard trying to get the hairs. Um, shaved off your face, you just kind of want to let it sit there on the on a good point of balance and just let it glide across your face, letting the weight of the razor take the majority of the work. Um, so I, I like this um, way of holding it because I could also flip it around. And this is how I do uh, against the grain or across the grain shaves. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit different, but it's really easy to flip it from this method to this method when I'm in the point of balance as I am right now. So this is my against the grain and so I just do upward shaves or I do across like that. And as you can see it's a little bit different. Here is my normal with my index on the point of balance and I have both my middle finger and my pointer finger on the same side of it. When I flip it around I have my middle finger on one side and my pointer finger is kind of on on the side, kind of vertical, uh, kind of aligned, parallel with the with the handle itself. And then my thumb is sitting there. Again, you're gonna have to grip it a little bit harder because as you're shaving upwards, it's gonna want to slip out of your hands. Oops. Um, so you're gonna have to grip it a little bit harder, but uh, just do it really soft, just like you're trying to shave a balloon, and you don't want to pop it. Just be really gentle. Um, let's see. This is um, the length of the handle of this Edwin Jagger DE89 LBL is is probably a, a mid size handle. It's not too long. It's not too short obviously. But you could try some other methods. Another one I saw that was popular is letting the bottom of the handle rest on your pinky. So you could really just let it sit in your hand. Very minimal grip is needed. You just need to put your thumb on there so it doesn't slide out, but minimal pressure is needed, and you can really just let the weight of the razor fall fall down. So really hold it just gently. Um, it's another popular method, but I just use, and another one that I see some people just use two fingers, so they put their index on the point of balance, and then just have their thumb. I like using my middle finger as well, but that's just my personal preference. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys just getting started in wet shaving. Um, there should be a link floating somewhere around the video right about now. So you can click on that and head to primandprep.com. You can check out the article. You can check out a bunch of cool other, other helpful information about wet shaving. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Thanks. Bye.